Hey y'all, my name is Gregory Ajid. Are you an artist considering releasing an album on Spotify or a different streaming platform? Watch this video and I want you to tell me if you think it's worth it. I have a question for you. Is it a better investment to take $10,000 and create an album that is going to be streamed on Spotify or take that $10,000 to buy Spotify stock? Leave your answer in the comments below. What's going on, everybody? My name is Gregory Ajid, and today I wanted to talk about Spotify and music streaming. And of course, this is a topic near and dear to my heart. I'm a musician. I have a couple albums on streaming platforms available to stream on Spotify, Apple Music, and wherever else these, uh, these CDs end up. As a musical artist, we want to create art, we want to create music, and we also want people to listen to our music and ultimately consume our art. Is creating an album a good investment for an artist? And this has been on my mind because Snoop Dogg's been going viral over the last couple of days, and Snoop was talking about streaming and how the math isn't mathing. I don't understand how the fuck you get paid off of that shit. <laughs> like, I mean, can somebody explain to me how you can get a billion streams and not get a million dollars? Like, that don't make sense to me. Like, I don't know who the fuck running the streaming industry, if you in here or not. <laughs> but you need to give us some information on how to fucking track this money down. Because one plus one ain't adding up to two. That shit don't add up. And I have to say it. Because that's the main gripe with a lot of us artists is that we do major numbers with streams and this shit, but it don't add up to the money. Like, what the fuck is the money? When I first came out, my records would sell based off of physical. If you sold a million copies, that means if $9.99, $9 million, you get this percentage, that's what it is. So if I sell how many streams, how much money do I get? It's not being translated and, and it's not working for the artist right now. And I just want to speak to that in yeah, the no, music industry. Talk. Like, that's fucked up. He said one plus one ain't adding up to two. Where the fuck is the money? And most importantly, it's not working for the artist. Snoop Dogg brought up a lot of great points, and I'm really appreciative for someone on that level to advocate for artists in the streaming industry. And I wanted to add my two cents into this conversation. So check this out. I'm gonna show you how artists are being taken advantage of and asked to sacrifice at every step of the way while everyone else is still making money. I put out my first album in 2012 and it's called Mystery Blues. Hey, pick up a copy. And the record cost me about $10,000 to produce. $10,000 is a lot of money, but in the world of albums, $10,000 is very cheap. It's like the bare minimum that you can spend to create a high quality recording. And that money is going towards paying for studio time, paying musicians, mixing, mastering, creating album artwork, getting physical copies of the CDs printed. And I know that's not really a thing today in 2024 anymore, but in 2012, you still had to make a CD. And so $10,000 is kind of like the bare minimum it costs to create an album. And I should have spent more money in the promotion and the publicity of the record, hiring a publicist, getting radio airplay and things of that sort. However, I didn't have the budget and if I would have done all those things, the entire budget would have probably doubled and been closer to $20,000. So the question I wanted to ask myself is, how much money would I have made had I invested in Spotify stock rather than creating an album that would be streamed on Spotify? Is it a better investment to take $10,000 to create an album and stream it on Spotify or take that $10,000 and invest it into Spotify stock? I'm gonna take a time machine back to 2012 and I am not gonna create my album. And instead, I'm gonna save that $10,000 to purchase Spotify stock when Spotify goes public in 2018. And now I'm gonna show you how artists are taken advantage of and asked to sacrifice while everyone else is still making money. When Spotify went public in 2018, Spotify opened at $147.92 a share. For the sake of my math, I'm gonna pretend it was $148. And today, the day that I'm filming this video, Spotify is currently worth $341. And for the record, that is an all-time high for Spotify. I'm gonna take my $10,000 and buy as many shares of Spotify as I can at $148 a share. 
and that's gonna give me 67 shares of Spotify stock. And now we're gonna fast forward to today, and I'm gonna sell my 67 shares of Spotify at $341 a share. Drum roll, please. Guess how much money that is? <gasps> my 67 shares of Spotify is currently worth $22,847. I've more than doubled my initial $10,000 investment. That's a lot of money. That was pretty easy. I bought some stock, and a couple of years later, I sold it, and I more than doubled my money. Now, this is the part of the equation that's really fun and actually a little sad. So now, let's see how many times my album would have had to be streamed in order to make the same amount of money, to make $22,847. Y'all, this number is astronomical. It's huge. I used an online Spotify royalty calculator. In order to make $22,847 streaming my album on Spotify, I would have to stream my album 9,599,580 times. That is a huge number. For the record, most artists have nowhere near 9 million streams, much less 1 million streams. I'm gonna bring up one more number that's even more discouraging, and let's pretend that we bought Spotify stock at its all-time low and sold today at its all-time high. The all-time low of Spotify was $71, so we're gonna buy $10,000 worth of Spotify at $71 a share, and that's gonna give us 140 shares of Spotify. Now, we're gonna sell our 140 shares of Spotify at $341 a share, and that's gonna give us the grand total of $47,740. That's a huge amount of money. The point I wanna make is that artists are contributing to the success of a platform like Spotify. However, we are not sharing in the reward and the success of that platform. It would have been a significantly better financial decision for me to buy Spotify stock then it would be to actually create content or create an album for distribution on that platform. Last year when I got my Spotify numbers, I had 30,000 streams across my albums. And I'm proud of that. That's a huge number. 30,000 people listen to my album or they listen to it 30,000 times. That's pretty killing. And 30,000 plays translated into $75 in royalties from Spotify. And to break down how little that is, I could have sold five physical albums for $75. I don't see how 30,000 streams translates to the equivalent of selling five albums. That math does not math for me. So a lot of people will defend Spotify and say it's a great opportunity for exposure, and you can't put a price tag on exposure. And I agree with that to an extent. And if that's the argument you're willing to make, now I'm gonna challenge you and say that Spotify is not actually a music distribution platform. Spotify is actually a glorified social media platform. And what I mean by that is if Spotify was an actual distribution platform, we would make money off of the product that Spotify is distributing. If exposure is the main commodity that Spotify offers artists, Spotify is actually a social media platform, just like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, or TikTok. And the difference is that the content that is required to go on Spotify is significantly more expensive to produce than those other platforms. Spotify is the most expensive social media platform to partake in. So why am I saying this? And I wanna tie this up into a nice little bow and uh, try to be positive about this. I wanted to share these thoughts and this information to you because I think it's important to have all the information at your disposal so that you can make the best decision for you. Should I create an album or should I invest that money into Spotify stock or other investments? I don't know, but I think it's important to have that information at your disposal. As artists, I feel like there's a tremendous amount of pressure for us to really maintain our artistic integrity at every point. And if you're anything like me, you're probably, you know, I am personally terrified of being called a sellout or anyone critiquing my integrity or love for art. So I think a lot of us are brought up with that mindset. So we try to shy away from money and other financial realities of being an artist. We want to create art, so we don't really deal with the finances. I think it's really important for us to dispel the starving artist myth and this mindset that tells us 
if we make money through our art, we're in some way selling out and compromising the art that we're creating. And I'm gonna challenge you to say that as an artist, it's actually tremendously important to have some basic understanding of financial literacy. And it's important to have financial literacy because these projects, they cost money. And the studio is making money. The publicist is making money. Spotify is making money. So the artist should also make money. And at every step of the way, people are charging for their services, but the artist is expected to make financial sacrifices and emotional sacrifices to create these endeavors that ultimately cost money. So I want to challenge everyone here into embracing a reality that we can be entrepreneurial artist. We can be great artists, create art at the highest level possible, and also be financially literate and be entrepreneurs and create a great product while also taking care of the financial realities. Anyways, y'all, that's all I got for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that this information will serve you and help you make the best decision for you in your career. I believe that knowledge is power and it's important to have all the information at our disposal so that we can make an informed decision and choose the right path for us. Let's be artists that create art on the highest level, create art for the benefit of humanity, for ourselves and society. And it's important that we also reap some of that financial reward. All right, y'all, thank you very much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting my channel and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.